Everyone, hi. Bruce Muffson, LCSW, coming at you from Sunrunch of Nevada with another breakdown of Mac Miller's last album, Swimming, which, again, fantastic album, every song a winner. Um, what I want to talk about with 2009, this next song, is that the intro was just gorgeous. Um, great piano playing. He was such a master in different instruments. was incredible. But to me, it was about him being even, again, more human and more raw about his feelings and how he was doing. Um, one of the commenters, Adrian Collins, made a comment. He goes, this man's soul was bleeding on this track. Very, very, very aptly put. Comment after comment, we could feel that this was the end. We could feel what he was trying to express. To me, you could feel his fatigue and thoughts of suicide, anxious, anxious and stressed, unable to concentrate, withdrawal from friends and family, losing interest in things you usually enjoy, sad and empty feelings, and feeling helpless and hopeless. We often make the mistake, okay, and think that depression is one thing when it's often multiple issues. That's why when they say things like snap out of it, you don't snap out of it, okay? But you learn to control it because it's a beast that's always going to be in hiding by doing one thing after another and making it to be a step-by-step plan, i.e., what's for instance, you get out of bed, you shower, okay, you put on clean clothes, you eat something, you get out of the house, you exercise, you connect with friends, and you connect with family. In other words, you, you take the steps to fill in the missing pieces, and that's how you get better and survive that most recent bout, depending on how severe it is. But that's how you grow. It doesn't just like that snap out of it nonsense. It doesn't work that way. It's not realistic. He makes a comment. Some of the lines he says that are beautiful. His writing is very, very poetic. Is that nowadays all I do is shine, take a breath, and ease my mind. To me, what he's saying is, I want to learn how to stop pretending once and for all. I want to be me, Mac Miller. Okay, no more games, no more pretending, no more hiding. I just want to shine, shine for myself and not be in the shadows anymore. It's very interesting how you use that word shine. I want to shine. I want people to notice me, to be aware. I don't want to be in the background. I just want to be Mac Miller. And you know what, guys and girls? That's enough. Again, we talk so much about just being yourself, being happy with who you are. And also he throws in, yeah, okay, you got to jump in to swim. This whole album has one water reference after the other. And it's a, he didn't just choose swimming randomly. There was a lot of logic and thought behind it. Depression is like a python. You see one of those 15 foot snakes and you wonder how does people, how do animals get ensnared in a python's grasp? They're not the quickest snake in the world. They're huge. You can't miss them. Even if you fall over them, you, 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 you can just easily walk away. It takes time for them to get around. But the way the python works is it, it, it's patient and it does things bit by bit, step by step. Got gets you off guard here, knocks you down. You got to get up. It keeps on moving though. You get up again. Gets around on your on your arm, on your ankle. All of a sudden, like what happened here? You break free, but here comes the other side of it coming around again. Like it's constant movement. That's what depression does. It looks for weak points, and then it goes for you. And at a certain point, you realize you're not in control anymore. The python is. Like what happened here? And you're unable to move. And that's when it begins to literally crush you to death. You only get out of it. You only get out of depression by untangling yourself bit by bit. You get off the ankle. You throw off the arm. You get it around your stomach. You get it from around your neck. And you need help. You rarely see a person by themselves getting away from a python. You got to see individuals like literally put, prying it apart off of you to get it off of you. So in other words, you get into depression alone, but to get out of depression, you need people. You need a support system. You need family. You need friends. You need counseling. You may need medication. You may need to change your whole lifestyle. But it, it's step by step by step. Because what happens is only when you get out of that python's grasp and you look around and it slithers away for looks for its next victim, that you say to yourself, how the heck did I get myself in this position in the first place? I don't even know what happened. 
People will often say to me, Bruce, I can't believe I found myself in this black hole. And now I finally see the light. I don't know what happened. It was like I was in a a tunnel. I was in a fog. I was in the dark. I was in a cave. I was underground. And now I see the light. And I tell them it's a path you deal with and you get better with motion and step by step to get better. I always like that scene from the movie Get Out. It came out about two years ago, Jordan Peele, obviously, where the main character, the, the, the girlfriend's mom, is a, you know, she's a therapist, but she has this motion where she does this, you know, she does tea and she, and she knocks a spoon around and it puts you in a trance. And the, and the character is like this. He's like, he, he's floating down where they show him floating down and he's looking up into the light. And like he sees her looking down at him and he's like, he, the look of, of like sheer like how did I get here? It's a great line, not great line, great scene. Like he just he he's like he's puzzled. Like how did I get here in the first place? And then when he finally gets out of the light, comes out of the dark into the light. It's like how did that happen? That's what depression is like. And then he ends up with this. He goes, but I don't need to lie no more. I don't need to lie no more. Because it's a great line because when you finally stop lying to yourself on whatever issue is bothering you is when you start to go up and not go down anymore. You're starting to make progress. I got to stop lying to myself. This is why I share with people that it's never never over until you stop breathing. Hang in there. So often, you know, we get the sense of like, oh, you know, it's too much. It's too much. As long as you're breathing, you got hope. But when you finally, when you're dealing with addictions, whatever the addiction is, drugs and alcohol, food, uh, terrible relationships, you're in a lousy job, you feel like you're a failure, you feel like you're a loser, you you can't go anywhere, you got this disability, you got that disability. Hey, trust me, man, as great as I am and a legend of my own mind, I got through that myself at times. And I got to like take a reflection, like, whoa, step back, sit down. And I got to say, I don't need to lie no more. What do I really bring to the table? What are my failings? What am I doing about them? And how am I going forward? That's what I want you guys to think about with this depression. And that's what Mac Miller did a great job in expressing with all of these songs. So again, you get in there one way, you get out the same way, step by step, one foot in front of you. That's how it's done. There's no magic cure. There's no magic secret. But just the beginning steps, that's what we're looking for for you to think about. And that's how you grow. And that's how you succeed. Thank you once again.